Hello everyone and welcome to the Crypto Session Brief. We're on Wednesday the 15th of June 2022. It looks like another day of misery for crypto markets and especially if you're buying uh, any of these dips on uh, on pretty much any crypto that's out there right now uh, because everything seems to be heading south. Uh, Bitcoin already piercing yesterday's low. Ethereum on the way to test the 1000 handle. So not looking too pretty right now whatsoever for Bitcoin longs. I'm sure hodlers are still happy and satisfied. Um, they can continue to hodl and obviously the, it's all about the tech and not about the money. So, you know, it's it's a case of just sitting tight because this is just another one of them um, them um, them corrections that do happen in the Bitcoin and, and crypto world. But nevertheless, if you are trading this and there are a lot of leveraged longs which keep on getting wiped out, there's still a lot of leverage coming in on the long side uh, that we've been noting. But you can see here, for example, on Bitcoin, um, they're just getting wiped out and the momentum is all to the downside. There's a lot of uncertainty still around in the markets. I posted an article inside X chat this morning, um, which is uh, three arrows hedge fund, they're a crypto hedge fund, and they're on the verge of being liquidated. Um, so not looking too good. And again, just more noises coming out of um, of, of different shot waves being sent in different, in different parts of the crypto market. Obviously, we'll focus on... Um, mainly the technicals now we'll look at the price and where we're heading to from here uh, and to be honest it's hard to argue for anything other than a move than a continued move to the downside I mean we do have a big day ahead we've got an ECB emergency meeting they might turn a little bit more dovish I don't think that'll impact crypto prices mainly you've got to worry about the Fed and what they're going to do this evening it's a huge meeting um, with everything that's going on You've got rumors of a 75 basis points hike. Uh, if that doesn't happen, do we see a big uh, squeeze to the upside? I think so. I think if they come in at 50, which is underneath that 75 pricing, you see some of these moves to the downside um, unwound. So you see a bounce, a big sharp reversal back to the upside. So you're talking Bitcoin maybe back at 24K, back above the 21 handle at the very least. Um, but with where things are heading, uh, clearly there's some concern there that the Fed are going to continue being hawkish uh, and a potential 75 basis point point hike is on the cards and that's been the cause of a lot of this move to the downside also wiping out some key areas and key support levels and on top of that so fundamentals plus the uh, uh plus the technicals and that's why you're seeing this sharp moves to the downside so now where to from here well i don't see too much in the way of support guys sorry to disappoint all the way down into 17600 so we might even see that especially imagine if the fed come through this evening with a 100 basis points hike there have been some shouts for for that um, and uh, I think it was Bill Ackman yesterday the famous stock investor was suggesting a 100 basis points hike on today's and the next meeting I personally have the view that they'll come in at 50 basis points in that case, we might see a bounce in risk assets across the board, a bit of a relief rally, if anything, that the Fed aren't going to be as tight with monetary policy. But forward guidance is going to be quite important. What are they going to do in the next month as well? So, um, you know, all eyes on that. In the meantime, it looks like continued selling is uh, is occurring pretty much everywhere. We look across risk uh, and a move down into 17650 and a, a basically a sub 20k print now could be on the cards. I mean, you could argue that the 20k handle is going to provide a little bit of support. It's a psychological round number handle. Sometimes you do see them um, provide a little bit of guidance uh, for price and you can see we're heading into that handle right now. So watch the 20k. But if that goes, I'm not seeing any support all the way down to 17600. Litecoin also sub 50 um, and then you've got Ethereum trading near the 1000 handle. You got 880 below that. So 880 more of a technical handle that I'm watching. But that 1000 at the minute is there and looking pretty, uh, pre pretty ominous, I would say as well. Uh, Ripple looking pretty heavy, continues to look heavy above the 30 cents handle that's been holding this week. You can see not quite as ugly as Bitcoin today is, is holding 30. But once that goes, you could see some sharp declines into the 28 cents handle. Pretty much it from mine, guys. Um, sorry, I couldn't be of any more uh, hope to anyone who's who's long. Uh, watch, obviously, the Fed meets and uh, that 50 basis points hike, which I personally think they'll lean towards, but there's no guarantees of that. That could provide some relief um, to the upside for, uh, for anyone who might be looking to buy the dip. Until next time, all the best with your trading. I'll be in the chat room and bye for now.